what's up guys so let me just pause this for a sec here so in this video I'm just gonna show you what I did to fix the jitter the uh, stick centering problem that the iRange X transmitter is having so this wasn't originally my idea I saw someone commented on Albert Kim's video about the um, potentiometers being loose a little bit and also the screw holes having cracks around them and he was 100% true props to him his name is HL Max he's got a little instruction guide on how to do it but I'm just gonna throw this video up here showing you guys exactly how to do it but thanks a lot to him all props to him he's the one who figured out this problem and the um, the radios actually work flyable now so that's great so let's get into the video alright so you're just gonna pop the um, there's there's a total of six screws the two right there and there's also two screws under each under each little uh, the rubber grips I'm just gonna take those off okay so now you're just gonna want to be really careful how you open the radio because the two um, those two rotary switches or, or dials whatever you want to call them potentiometers on the back there those are connected with some really short wires and you can just pull that little piece out right there that's just a little cosmetic looking thing so just be careful when you're uh, taking those wires out oh, don't forget that too those stuff normally fall out but just put them aside so you don't lose them but yeah don't don't go popping the radio open like a crazy man you might just burst those wires so just open it slowly get in there pull those out just be really careful because they're they're in there so tight I had to rock them a little bit to get out get them out now we're gonna get into the gimbal okay so I already did the other side but I wasn't recording so now we're gonna do the aileron and elevator side now these wires one of them actually popped right out with me but the um, it was just a little little like holder thing it goes into just be really careful luckily it didn't pull off the solder pads so I was able to pop it right back in and everything was good Alright, so you're going to want to remove those four screws holding the gimbal in, obviously. Don't lose any screws because you don't want to have a loose gimbal. Alright, so like right now I'm just holding the gimbal really tight and rocking those and they're actually moving left to right, up and down. They're really not tight in there. So you're just going to go ahead and remove the two the little retainer that's holding them in two little tiny screws also gonna remove those other four screws on the bottom part that's holding in the whole stick itself you just want to pull the potentiometer out which is just sitting in there I just take off the um, the stick for the gimbal so when you go to pull the um, pull the whole thing out that doesn't stop you it screws right off all right there's two screws right there don't remove those I'm gonna pop a picture up just don't remove those I made a mistake and removed those and you don't have to pretty much you're just gonna want to let go of that um that spring right there that's holding the gimbal in so just let go of that just be careful don't uh, don't damage the spring or else you're gonna have to go to hardware store and get another one <laughs> or make yourself one alright your gimbal pops right out 
don't lose any of those springs or screws. Okay, now in order to separate the little arc, arch looking thing, you just gotta press on that little dial right there very slightly, and then you just open it up, pry it away slowly. You don't wanna break the tabs. You get that off, and now you can get your second potentiometer out, and you're good. So what I actually did also was I redid the um, redid the solder on them because it looked really chummy and horribly done. <laughs> All right, so right here I'm just using some regular silicone, just dabbing it, dabbing it a little bit on the tip of that on the tip of the potentiometer. Do one at a time. I did both of them and one dried up immediately. <laughs> so what I did was I put some silicone on it and I popped it back into the um, into the gimbal assembly and that also helped to mold around the flat parts of the potentiometer. And that seemed to really get the stick to center a lot. Also what I did was I grabbed some aluminum foil and I folded it up really small just as a little uh, base you know you can use whatever you have you can use paper or just make sure it's not too thick or else you may break that retainer alright and that also helped to push in the potentiometer all the way because the retainers don't push them in all the way they're not getting and they're not getting full contact with the potentiometer so there's a little space in between so fill that up I do believe in the future I will model a 3d printed part where you can where it's going to be a lot stronger and it's going to have uh, you won't need to use any paper or foil to um, fill that space so it's going to be thicker and it's going to push on the potentiometer a little bit more so you won't have to worry about that all right, so you're just going to put that little cap back on top of the uh, gimbal. Make sure you line it up properly. Because that, that is also blocking the um, that potentiometer from coming out. It doesn't hamper with the other side. So you put that back in. And pretty much what you're going to do is the little retainers you took off from the uh, bearings, just going to screw those back on. Make sure they're nice and snug. Also, if that little, uh, that little block with the spring attached to it, if that fell out for you, well, that's going to be a pain in the butt to get back in. But you know, I eventually got it back in and it was good. <laughs> It just took me at least like 10 minutes or something. It's really hard. So now you're going to put some more silicone on the other potentiometer. And you're going to slide that back into its place. And you can't, you can't not line them up properly because they have cutouts for how they go. So. There's no way you can mess it up. All right, and the same thing I'm doing again is just put in some foil, fold it up really small just to close that space because between both potentiometers, there is a little tiny space from the retainer. Now I don't know why, but it's it's really badly designed. So you know you just put your um put your gimbal back in, make sure you line it up properly. And if you're not sure of which plug goes where, I would say you should mark it. You know, if mark the um mark the plug on the board with a red marker, mark that plug on the gimbal with a red marker so you don't mess it up.
Alright, so what you want to do is just run back through the calibration again because you're going to need to do that. Make sure you center the uh, throttle stick as best as possible. And just do the calibration all over again. And there you have it, guys. So you go into your uh, transmitter menu, your channel monitor, and voila. Sorry about my blurry camera. But voila, there you have it. Everything is zero. The throttle, it's off by like one, which isn't a big deal. But we're good. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you um you can always go back and pause or slow down or whatever you need to do to make sure you get this fix in really good. Okay guys, like, subscribe and comment if this fix worked for you and I will see you in the future. Peace.